all right so now we have both our front end or at least the front end and the back end part of our application on github next assuming that you've created your render account just go ahead and log in all right so i'll just click here to open the dashboard for my own account okay great so this is what the dashboard looks like now it's going to be a little bit different for you if you have not deployed anything if this is the first time you're using render you're going to see some boxes that will contain all the services render offers but for me because i've deployed it's showing me my the apps that i currently have deployed so let me come here and click on new all right so by clicking on new it gives me these options here the first is to deploy a static site which is what I'm going to go with first. All right, so you should see if this is your first time of using render, you should see a box here that has some text and so maybe an image on it that says static sites. That's what you should also click. So I'll click on static sites. And of course, assuming that you're connected to GitHub, so make sure you connect to GitHub. There's a button somewhere. Okay, so it's even here. So here's my own. So you can also connect to GitLab and yeah. So what app do I want to connect to to create a static site? Technically, I want to create this main task app front end, which is what I just uploaded to GitHub. So I'll click on connect. And it's going to try to, you know, connect to GitHub, fetch that um, application. But first, we need to add some settings. So remember, in the back end of our application, this server here, we decided that we're going to name the front end part of our app so let me click here in this course place here remember how what we said we're going to name the app so we said we want to name it main task app so let me just grab this main task app i'll copy that and then let's come back here all right great so i'll just paste that in main task app so it's just going to help us add dots on render.com all right that's assuming that this name is still available and i think it's available okay so the root directory uh okay render will monitor and run commands at the root directory if the default at the top level directory of your okay for the previous deploys i did i i don't think i saw this root directory so for now let me just leave it okay the branch is the master branch the build command is yarn build but i'm using npm so if you're using like uh okay I'll just change mine here to npm and build. Okay, that's the command to build your application. So even on a React app, if you want to build your application, the command you run is npm build. So that's what this means. So here, let me come down here and it says the publish folder. That's also going to be build. So we are good to go. Now, all things being equal, go ahead and create. Um, click on this button that says create static site. So I'll go ahead and create, click that, and then it should start, you know, building the application. So you see, it's already doing that. But remember, in the front end of our application, we have this, uh, what's it called? Let me show you. We have a .env file that contains an environment variable. All right, so this is the front end and we have this .env file here and remember we added this react app server url so i'll just copy this you know what let me just okay i'll copy it one after the other and then i'll come here let me expand this guy and click on environment so it's currently trying to build out the application but because we've not added the environment it will eventually run into an error that there's an environment variable that is missing so just click on environment and want to add an environment variable so the name of the variable is react app server url okay so let me come back here and let me just copy it so react app server url in this local development we set it to local host 5000 but when we deploy the back end url we're going to change that so this is going to change on the server so you know what i'm going to do i will just let me just grab this URL here. I'll copy this and then let me just come back here. Great. So let me paste that in. So this is main task and I'll say hyphen app. Then I'll say hyphen API. So this is the URL I'm going to use for to deploy the back end part of our application. Main task app API 
dot on render.com i know it's a very long name but i mean just bear with me that's what we're going to use so just so that i don't forget i'm going to copy it and maybe just paste it somewhere in my application so i'll just paste it in this notepad here so that when i'm deploying the back end i'll just make reference to it okay good so let's continue uh then go ahead and click on save changes so let's make sure main task app api yeah so go ahead and say save changes now because we've added an environment variable if you go back to this event here you'll notice that another deploy has started okay so you see it has cancelled that previous deploy that was going on and it has started another one because we added an environment variable so you see environment updated now if you want to monitor this deploy and see what's actually going on just click on this deploy here and then it should just open it and show you a log of what's currently going on if there is an error with your deploy that would also be displayed here and you can just track the error and make the corrections that you need to make so that your app can be deployed on the front end so technically that's all we need to do we just need to wait a little bit for our deploy to complete and this takes a couple of minutes so i'm just going to pause the video quietly and then wait for it to complete if there's any error i'll show you the error and we're going to fix it together all right aha so apparently here we have an error and i actually just wanted this to play out so that you will see what the error looks like and then you'll be able to fix it if you have you know your own error so you see here it says build folder build folder build does not exist build field so technically what we just need to do is we just need to go to our settings and then i'll just correct what i know the problem was which i just and you know let it play out like i said so here if you come down to um you see this roots directory thing it's a new feature that's you know render is introducing but i'll just leave it blank because it has a default so if you come down to this our uh, build command i'm sure some of you noticed it here i'm going to click on edit and what i set before was npm build now the only command that you can just put in front of npm is start npm start every other command you need to say npm run build in this case so you need to add the word run in front of it so if you go ahead and save changes then now we're going to have our build process start again so let me just come here all right so you see a new build process has started and this time we shouldn't have any errors but even if we do have any errors we'll fix it together so now i'll click on this deploy so that we can see the log of the events that are going on okay so when this is complete we are now going to deploy the back end as well aha so apparently our deploy is complete so if i just scroll down here you see your site is live now this in progress apparently is something that render needs to still work on to fix but once you see here that your site is live what that means is that you can go ahead and check your front end part of your application so i'll just click on this place open it in a new tab and at least we should be able to see yeah so we should be able to see this okay we're getting a network error because we've not deployed the back end part of the application so in the next video we're going to deploy the back end to render see you there all right so it's time to deploy the back end of our application so the way we're going to do that is i'll just click on this new here and then i'll this time i'll click on web service okay so now the repository i'm going to go for is main task app backend which is what we you know did i'll connect and then let's add some settings aha so now remember we um already created in we already agreed on a name we're going to use and we said we're just going to add api to that name so i'll just copy that and then i'll just paste that here so it's going to be main task app api roots directory i would also leave so that it's going to have the default environment is going to be node i'll leave the region as well branch is going to be from master the build command is going to be npm install because that's what i'm using then um the start command node server.js so it has looked inside of my repository and seen that what i have is server.js but 
just to be like you know thorough i'm going to come to my folder here and then i'll open my package.json so if you open the package.json file for the back end you'll see that we created a start command which is going to be node and then it's going to look inside the backend folder and fire of the server.js so technically i can use this command to fire up my back end and that's what i'm going to use so instead of coming here and say node server.js which is not even correct if you look at it very well i'll just come here and say npm start and remember npm start is the only command that we don't need to say run start although if you say run start it's still going to start okay so now i'll scroll down and what do we need to do next just make sure that you are on the free plan and here if you want to like choose another paid plan you can easily just choose but free plan is fine for the tutorial here and then i'll click on create web service so click on that and it's going to start creating the service but remember that we have environment variables also in our back end so i'll need to come here and click on environment and let me go to okay good so we're going to say add environment and the environment variable we um have is mongo uri m-o-n-g-o underscore uri now this is where you're not going to add your own uh mongodb uri so i'll just add mine and then i'll just show you so i've been able to add my mongo uri okay now if you go back to events you will see that it will just try and start another deploy because we added uh, an environment variable so you see it has started another deploy if you want to see the details just click on the deploy and it will just show you the log so everything that is going on it will show you so now let's just give it a couple i think the back end deploy actually takes a little bit longer than the front end in from my experience using render so i'll just wait a couple of minutes let it finish and then we're just going to continue okay so you see here now we've been able to um deploy our back end we now have this message that the server is running on path and then it gives us this number so technically just come here and click back on events you will see that our back end has been deployed um okay so let's just give it a couple of seconds okay so you see here we have our uh, deploy and it's live so what we can do now is we can now come to this um, the front end part of the application and refresh it and now hopefully all things being equal we should be able to get the data from the back end And there you go so here we're able to see that we now have the data from the back end let's go ahead and test out the functionalities very quickly so first of all add a task i'll just say task one hit enter aha so you see here we have task one let me delete this first task i'll delete that and it's gone and let's set task one to completed and that works as well let's edit this first task here and i'll just uh change this to main task project completed yeah and then i'll just hit enter on that aha so you see so technically we've been able to create the app um both the front end and the back end we deployed it to render and we tested everything everything works just fine so now because i don't want my render account to be cluttered so because currently i have two deployments on render so i just want only one so you know what i'm going to do this latest deploy that i've you know put to render i'm going to delete it i'm going to leave the first one uh mern hyphen task dot on render dot com all right so that i don't clutter my render um space my hosting space on render so in the next video we are going to see how we can deploy to heroku 
pending when Heroku cancels their free tier. I want that knowledge to be available on the course. Alright, so thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.